Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of The Binding of Isaac. Now, it's been nearly a week, or over I think, between the last time I recorded and today, and that's because I've pretty, been, pretty much been rushed off my feet, had a lot of work on my hands, been enjoying the very little sun we get to see in England, and um, had a night out with mates that involved uh, sombreros and a few too many tequilas, so I've been suffering from that as well. But uh, we're back on the ball today, and we're going to get get the hell on with another Binding of Isaac run. So today I think I'm going to go for, yeah, we're going to go with Isaac. A traditional Isaac run. As I always say with the D6, takes a bit longer, but I'm feeling good today, I'm feeling lucky. So let's get on with this. I'd love to get in, hmm, I think I can get in there with, I don't know if I can get in there with one bomb actually, it might take two, but I'm going to start off anyway, just in case. Well I got the bombs, so we can get at these three. Three for the price of one, always good. And blow up that blue rock for two spirit cards. So off to a great start. Right room for the little red flies, no problem whatsoever. Mop those up in 10 seconds flat. Maybe a little one. <laughs> Game's throwing money at us already. Looking like a good run, but you know, things can always take a turn for the worse. But we've got to be optimistic in these days with our Isaac runs. Always think of the best, right? A few gushes and some flies. One more hit, he'll be gone if I can land it whilst dodging this down fly. And the item room is right there, so we'll see what we'll be picking up straight away. Half a heart in the middle, don't need that. Um, odd mushroom. These can have varying effects, but I will grab that. Fortunately, didn't get the life down effect. Damage up and a single heart container of health, so glad I didn't re-roll that. Definitely worth it. And now I have my bulbous oversized head to work with. I think it did slow me down very slightly. Yeah, definitely did. But that's okay. Hopefully we'll grab a, grab a speed up on the boss. Or one of the bosses along the way. I mean, the game tends to throw either the belt or the spoon at you at some point. But we won't hold our breath. I think we're doing alright anyway. It's only until we come across enemies like the Fallen and so on that we really need speed. In these first few floors, it's not, not really a concern. We will head up to that last room, you never know, there could be a mini boss on the floor, something along those lines. But I can't see us going to the shop unless we find a secret room. We'll be spending another bomb on that tinted rock in this room, hopefully a few more spirit hearts. Always good to get that health going. Uh, a pill, we will risk it. Pretty fly, brilliant, nice little bit of added defence there. And it throws another two spirit hearts at us, so we're looking good health wise. There are two... no. There's only one location where the secret room whoops, where the secret room could be, so we will bomb our way into that straight away. I have missed recording the old Barney of Isaac runs. I haven't played very much at all. As I said, I've been quite busy lately. Work is just draining the life out of me, and I work on the computer as well, so kind of does my wrists in. Getting the old carpal tunnel along the way, I think. <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed, that's not true. It might impede my Binding of Isaac skills. Right, Steven. There is actually a way, if you destroy little Steven first, the little thing attached to his head, you can get a different item, which is a damage up, which I'd love to get, but it is such a pain in the ass, and it will take forever. So I'm just gonna mow through him and get little Steven as well. If you don't know what little Steven does, he's a companion who fires homing tears at your enemies. I would much prefer the, um, the big Steve upgrade, which is a damage up. But, oh, beggars can't be choosers. Our speed possibly being a problem here when the big Steven does his charge, but we're doing okay. It's not proving to be too much of a hindrance, so it should be fine. Big Steve should go down any second. There we go. Taking a little bit of damage there, which is unfortunate, but we do have a ton of spirit hearts backing us up. Um, if little Steven just wants to back into a corner and I can lock him down there, that would be fantastic, but... He seems a little haphazard today, dancing all over the place. Maybe he's had a few too many Bicardis. Steven, terrible. You're underage. Another stupid bit of damage there, but... There we go. Little Steve. I would re-roll that, but I don't think it can re-roll to anything else. Companion items, such as Chad and Little Chub, stuff like that, you can't re-roll them to anything else. Unfortunately, but that, those homing tiers will give us a little bit more uh, damage output. A little bit more kick behind our shots. Well, not our shots, but we'll have twice as many shots. I'm not sure if his damage scales with Isaac's. I think a lot of the companions do, except the flat damage ones like uh, Little Chub and stuff like that. I think it's Little Chub anyway, the one that charges. He's 
kind of like your own personal charger. Still have not had a use of the D6 as of yet, which is unfortunate. I quite like using that as much as possible. Uh, won't spend any coins on that because I'm saving them from the shop. Don't have the bombs to do anything with this room, but we may come back later because gold chests, they can always, you know, might contain something tasty. Something that gives a little more kick to our run. But I would like to run across the item room. Ah, oh, fire hoppers. My favourite. And every single one jumps into the flame. I really want to destroy that flame in case... No, in case nothing. I just need to destroy all these. I was thinking it was the last run when I had the one up. Ah, stupid. I do have a lot of health, but I would really prefer to hold on to it rather than spend it on these little bastards. He should go down in another few hits. Brilliant. And now the champion, who might drop something nice. Come on, mate, what you got for us? If we can actually hit him. A bomb. Brilliant. I'm tempted to go back. Yeah. No. No. I'm going to save it. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. It's really terrible. Awful character flaw. Uh, got some moors here. Do the old classic Binding of Isaac staple, the strike shot. You've got to learn that to be any good at the game. I've actually got a friend who... Uh, he, he's owned the game, but he's, for a while, he, I think he picked it up at Christmas when Steam had it on sale. But he never actually played it, and then he started watching one or two of my videos. He started playing, <laughs> and he's just come back to me with, uh, you make it look a lot easier than it is. And I do uh, less than fondly remember my early days with Binding Isaac. I will re-roll that. Don't want that, so... Oh, that really, really sucks. <laughs> Can... There may be enough rooms to recharge it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. That is unfortunate. I will end it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very unlikely now, considering now we've just got a room where it can't recharge at all. There's no monsters in here to recharge it on. So, yeah, very unfortunate, but oh well. I think Chad, little Chad, is probably my least favourite item in the game, because I just find him useless. It's, it's very, very rare when regularly dropping parts are going to be of any use to you. So I'll get one recharge on this room, possibly another recharge on the other, depending on what's in it. But I don't know. I don't think I'll get enough for another reroll. I mean, I'd love one, but I'm not hedging my bets. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to be one room short, which fucking sucks. I could go in the item room. Or the arcade. No, I don't think Greek can spawn in the arcade. But if he spawns in the item room, we could get a charge off that. But it's unlikely, to say the least, on basement two. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, and took some silly damage there, but no worries. Got to be, got to be very controlled when fighting Envy. Got to take his face out one at a time. Don't try and split too many at once, or you're going to have a bad time. I'm oh, just quoting the horrible ski instructor South Park memory there. I do apologise. Anyone who uh, frequents Reddit will know that and probably hate me now. But it's all good. It's all good. Take it easy, guys. Oh, taking more damage there. All these spirit hearts like, acquired on the first floor utterly going to waste. Getting a little bit of uh, frame rate drops. The flash programming and my computer not, not meshing well on the MV fight. Too many little um, objects flying around the screen. Wait for that troll bomb to explode and grab this pill. Uh, balls of steel would be nice. It Danes not to give you that. <laughs> ah, that was very close. <laughs> Fortunate not to have taken damage there. Oh, I'm dying for that one last charge. Ah, I think the secret room is going to be here. It's either here or... No, it's not there. Okay, it could be here. We may end up spending all our bombs. Thankfully not. A bounty of coins for us, so we will be heading into the item shop. I'm kind of in half a mind of what I want to see in the item shop. In terms of whether I want actual items or greed, either would be useful. I suppose it does mean, if I pick something good up from the item shop, it does mean we've got something actually worthwhile. Oh, I will get a charge from the boss so I can come back, so it is okay. And half price treasure map, that is a really great pickup will make navigation a little bit easier and we'll be able to see secret rooms. I will pick up that spirit heart as well and and that key. Taking us down to two coins, but I think overall it was worth it. I'm tempted to open one of the golden chests, but I think I'm going to save my key for another floor. Just in case it doesn't want to provide me with uh, the consumables I need. Which oftentimes it doesn't. Alright, Larry Jr's here. No problem. I am a war veteran when it comes to Larry Jr's. 
back in Nam, we fought these guys every single night. The the screams. Oh god, the screams. I'm kidding, I wasn't in Nam. Far too old. Uh, anyway, mopping these up, no problem whatsoever. That extra firepower we're getting from little Steve, really doing work. And he's out of there. D6 is recharged, we take that extra life. We will definitely pop to deal with the double room. Fortunately, it's not Krampus. Ah, Mom's knife. For a, a bargain at one heart. Let's grab that. Fantastic. Right, we've got some... Our range is limited now, but we've got some real firepower behind us. Unfortunately, Isaac's head does look a little odd with the dress on. Reroll that. Something good. Unicorn horn. Hmm. You know what? I do want to abandon the D6, and the unicorn horn is a sufficiently good item to do that for. I mean, it's a bunch of damage. Pop it on a boss, you're invincible for a while. There's lots of pluses, let's just say that. Down to the caves one. Secret ring very close, I will expend my bomb on that straight away. Bomb flies. Not the greatest enemy when you've got limited range. Uh, that could have gone very wrong, but fortune favoured us there. And that did go wrong, so not so much there. <laughs> she, uh, she gives with one hand and she slaps in the face with the other. Let's put it that way. Three more coins, not, not a great haul. Definitely not worth the bomb I used. Still popping all these fires, just in case anything extra is in there. Uh, there's nothing up top, seeing as I went in the secret room. If there's anything down here. I would love the compass right now. Let's post down in one hit. Uh, Dr. Simone, not interested. Probably should have kept the D6, thinking about it, but oh well. Hindsight is 2020 after all, and yeah, I can't do anything about that right now. I will use this bomb here. Sorry for the constant firing from Steven gets annoying. It's just that I like to hold it down to charge the knife before I head and enter a room. Right, some dwarfs. Taking a bit of silly damage, but no worries. Dodge out the way of that, no problem. Would love to get a key to come back to that golden chest, as I haven't managed to open any, I don't think so. Whoops, that was a bit stupid. Holding the W key a little too long there. We will pick up a little bit of money here, which will make a trip to the item room. Definitely on the cards. Uh, would like another two cents before I I I'm really enthusiastic about going in and take both of these out at once. These uh, are like uh, Siamese flies, I suppose. Again, there's no official name for them on the mob list. I will not go in the item room quite yet. As I say, I do want that extra money and I would be able to pick it up there if I had a, but a single bomb, which I do not, unfortunately. Take that guy out for it. Uh, damn it, got me there. Possibility of being flanked here, but there's only two of them. I think we'll be alright. We did not get the coins we need, so I will head back. Ah, oh, just one bomb. My kingdom, my kingdom for a bomb. Uh, we'll go in, just see what there is first. The ladder, definitely a great little pickup. So I will be scouring those three hidden rooms to the top left for those few cents I need. Just pick up that wonderful item. I would definitely prefer Transcendence to the ladder, but I don't have the option right now. Unfortunately, callously abandoned my poor little D6. The Unicorn Horn, which I still haven't used yet. I think it recharges once every six rooms there, so I do have to be uh, a little frugal with it. One more cent, and we are in the money. Or rather, we are in the ladder, which doesn't really make much sense. Uh, some charges. Silly walking in front of him there, but it's alright. We're not doing too great on health now that I look. So we have to be a bit more careful, I say, getting hit straight away. Okay, they're all down. Damn it. That really sucks. Uh, I can't remember if that heart down there is a full heart or half a heart. If it's a full one, I will come back and do the challenge room. Because if you don't know, challenge rooms refuse to open unless you have full health. Or if you have some kind of flying item like the, the pony or transcendence, then you can uh, just float right in and out at your own discretion. So hopefully this is a full heart. Oh, it is, but I can't get to it. Bollocks. And the ladder would let me get to it. Oh, it's just a clusterfuck of mistakes right now. Oh well. We will uh, pull up our pants and go hit the boss. Wait. Split fistula up a little bit more before we engage the unicorn horn, which I will run out. They're all nice to group together, so I can mow through them. And um, actually thinking about it, uh, unicorn Horn and Mom's Knife is a great little combination because you can use Mom's Knife whilst you have the Unicorn Horn on. So it's double the damage, basically. 
bit of life up there, which is fantastic. And we do have that full health now, so I will head to the challenge room. I'm really, really determined to get that ladder, guys. I'm sorry if this is frustrating you that I'm spending so much time on the caves one, basically. But I want to make our run as powerful as possible. Get as many good items that could uh, lead us to great things. Great things. Plus, if I get the ladder, that's six coins I've seen already on the level, which will be available to me, which I can't get to right now because I'm completely lacking in bombs. Would love to bomb into there as well. What is this? Ooh, life up. See, it was worth coming in. Definitely worth coming in. Uh, take care of these charges. Bit of slowdown there, unfortunately. I would quite... I mean, my PC is not bad uh, at all, but it is... It's starting to see its edge. A few of those uh, wrinkles are appearing on the forehead. I actually had to start it up twice this morning before it turned on, which quite worrying, but that may just require me to get a new uh, power supply unit, which is no big deal really. But I would love a new computer. I mean, I've been looking at um, the cards that have been coming out and stuff. That new one from NVIDIA uh, when specced against the current HD Radeons, which I have. Uh, I've got two Radeon 4000 series in... It's... I always forget, it, it's one of, it's either SLI or Crossfire, <laughs> but I've forgotten which. But I would love to pick up one of those. Support three monitors off one card. Insane. Anyway, enough about uh, technical mumbo jumbo. Let's head down to the caves too. A little bit of a slow run so far, but we do have the mom's knife. We're quite powerful. We've got a decent amount of health. I'd like to see some more spirit hearts, but hey, we're doing well in raw hearts alone, so can't complain. We'll head up to see if any of these top rooms are anything. An arcade. Um, not really interested in that at the moment. Got those 14 cents. Want to take that up to 15 and then see what's in the item room. Hopefully Spitty won't turn around. Good lad. Oh, a little bit dangerous there, but we're okay. Got a pill. I've got that pill before. I think it was pretty fly. Yeah, it is. Fantastic. So, even more defense there. A cube of meat and we'd have the whole trio. Guardian Angel would be quite nice. If you don't know Guardian Angel floats around you and I think it doubles the speed of everything, every other item that's floating around you. Again, a little bit of slowdown. Too much to render on the screen at once, in flash anyway. Again, I've been getting excited for the new Wrath of the Lamb expansion. I think he released one more screenshot since I posted that video going on about the four he released. Still planned for late April, which is brilliant. And I was talking about the low price print point before I'll give you more details on that. It's around three dollars, which um, obviously being from England is fantastic. So it's like around two pounds, a little bit less than two pounds, something like that, which is basically nothing considering, and doubly so considering the amount of content we're going to be getting for such little money. As I said, really do admire Ed McMillan. I um, quite enjoyed his interview. It was a few months back, I believe, might have been the end of last year. Did an interview on his whole experience and how he'd come from basically nothing really. Uh, just doing little games here and there, not really having much success. And then Super Meat Boy just, they killed themselves working on it and it turned into this massive um, favourite that it is today. Anarchist's Cookbook, complete waste of the key there. Do not want that. Utterly crappy item. Would love to break into the secret room. Again, no bombs. Come on guys, give us some consumables. The knights here being stubborn, as usual, with mom's knife. Sometimes they'll be hit by the bit, sometimes they will just outright refuse. Golden chest, can't break, break into that. Game's been throwing those at us, but we can't get in. Help us, help me out. We'll, love, we'll basically need to pick up another key so I can get into the item shop, because I do have those precious 15 cents. Completely miss uh, this clotty, but he will go down this time. Avoiding the fire from the rest of the ring. I really am sorry about the frame rate drops today, they're more severe. I don't know if you're even noticing them, but I play this so much that I always do. <laughs> Plus it affects the way you play, so. Not always in a positive light either. People might think slowdowns, yes, they're good for dodging around um, tears and stuff like that, but it can be a real pain in the ass. Maybe it's just because my character's so damn slow. We still haven't got that speed up that I'd really like to see considering we're head on, heading onto floors where we can see some pretty damn speedy enemies. We do have that key we need, and the item shop will be up here. I can see nowhere else where it can possibly be. Take down these globins nice and quickly. And there's that item. Take down the horse, try not to get hit. 
Take care of the Siamese flies. Those two hawks begging to die together there. And I oblige them happily. Right, in the time, really hope you're not going to Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> Shit. I uh, lost a single coin there, that's not good. But hopefully greed will drop an absolute turn. Oh, lost two coins actually. Definitely not good. Don't hit me. Ah, oh, you little bastard. Yeah, he drops plenty to make up for the hits we took. And another key, which I think I can't go back to the challenge room. But there's a chest that I would definitely like to visit. Ah, uh, definitely not having a that fortunate a run. I'm not going to use that arcade machine. I'd love to see a bomb. It's been forever since I've seen a single bomb. Two whole floors, I do believe, which is appalling. Come on, programming code. Give me some luck, please. Okay, that was not a what I thought it was. I thought that was a gold chest and not blocked. But well, we will visit these other unexplored rooms. The beggar, fantastic. Definitely worth it in this case, then. He could give us a compass, that would be absolutely spectacular. A bomb, fantastic. Doing work for us already, my little beggar friend. Poor little guy, he does need to eat. Uh, health up, not going to turn my nose but that. Yeah, if I can squeeze past this rock with my giant, giant head and go explore this last room up top. I'm very tempted to go to the arcade because the blood bag could be there. Plus it may give us, okay, I'm definitely going to the arcade now. Casually breezed past that. Accidentally hit the door a little too hard. This guy can just come down so I can finish him off. There we go. And another key. Three keys. Uh, as I always say, good to stock up. I prefer to see bombs, obviously, as they've been a scarce rarity. Uh, I think I'll spend five coins here. Well, it's half a heart, so we're nearly up to full. Can't remember what that was. It's fly. Our little homing Steven friends take care of that. Um, I will spend a bit more just basing that gamble off the assumption that I will pick up more sense on other floors. Okay, up to full life. Um, we'll go down to ten. Another on there, another on here. A heart. would love if I could win this. Bollocks. Not on the cards. I'll spend... A few... I'm not going to bother with the challenge room. Spend a fair few hearts on this make back the coins we lost and maybe get the blood bag. I'll go down to three hearts. I'm feeling risky. Come on, please get us the blood bag. Bollocks. Um, uh, two more. Oh, this is getting really stupid. Right, I'm just going to blow it up. Half heart. <laughs> Not great, but we've got a lot of coins now. Should be able to recover hearts. I mean, we're not so far into the game that hearts have become incredibly scarce on the depths or anything. So we should be fine. It's really the wee moments when you need to start worrying when it comes to uh, hearts not dropping. And hopefully we'll be back up to full before that. Obviously not going to be able to go into the challenge room. Would have been nice to spend that key, but I kind of want to expedite things now. I mean, we're uh, rolling up to 25 minutes and I'm going in the complete wrong direction. Uh, I thought I was going back to the shop for them for something, but then I remember the, uh, the lovely greed spawned in there. Which is unfortunate. I'd like, like to spend some coins on some items. Shame I can't get those bombs. Right, Pete. Champion Pete. So I think he will drop a spirit heart considering his colour. It's either green or blue. He's kind of a kind of a turquoise, half and half. A little bit of slow down again there, but having no problem avoiding the eyes. As you see on this this layout is incredible because Pete's just sandwiched between there. His stuff doesn't hit me and it's incredibly easy to dodge his eyes. He does jump there, but he doesn't move. So, no problem. He is down. Speed up, which we desperately needed, and two hearts. So, I think that gamble earlier was definitely worth it, considering we now have 29 coins. Um, we will head in the direction of the secret room. I'm not going to explore every, every uh, room on this floor. As I said, we need to exploit things a little. It's taking a bit too long. Champion Guts not wanting to go down, but his little brother will in a moment. There's another one dead. These guys can be a little tricky if you don't aim your shots just right. He should be. Come on, mate. There we go. Please, a bomb. Thank you. Um, I will blow up to get to that gold chest. Hopefully, we'll shower us in riches. Another heart and two coins. Not great, but 
can't complain too much. We'd quite like another bomb to be able to go to the secret room over the, up there. Because that could contain something useful like the liver. Although I do think the liver slows you down. And I'm not too enthusiastic to get any more speed downs. Uh, item room. No greed, fantastic. Ooh, that is quite a selection. Book of Revelation. No, I'd rather stick with what I have at the moment. The white, I believe, was explosive diarrhea, so I have no interest in that. Tempted to take the razor, but I'll stick with the unicorn one. I think it's going to serve us better in the long run. And into the secret room. Three more coins. Not fantastic, but yeah, never mind. I'm tempted to check that pill because I'm not 100% it is explosive diarrhea. I think it is, though, so let's not bother. We take up more time, so forget it. Lots of globins here. Try and get them to run over the spikes and commit to Harry Kari, or however it's pronounced. Basically, Japanese samurai suicide. Although uh, I don't think they have much honour living in the basement and such. Uh, pointless trip up here. Unfortunately, no boss room, no item room. I will visit the item room, but as I said, I'm not going to be exploring everywhere because it's a massive waste of time. Walking all over the place there, I think I was a bit drunk. Or it may just be uh, my finger placement. Would like to pick up a few more hearts so that I'm full. So that the possibility of the challenge room is there if we do walk past it. More uh, Siamese pies. Been coming at us quite a lot. I do go some runs without seeing them at all. Fortunately the knife does take them out in one hit so they don't split, which is uh, quite nice. Sorry, I meant to scratch my nose then. Uh, more knights. Uh, they don't seem to want to die by knife. Come on, guys. Do me a favour. I might hit him in the back of the head, so it doesn't matter. God. I, do, I don't understand the hitbox on this, honestly. It's, I think you have to get them dead centre or something. But even even sometimes that doesn't seem to work, so who knows. Check down here, just see if there's anything. Yeah, there's the item room. Right, some vizzes. I don't really understand why these are called vizzes. Tiny little gluttonies get him to shoot his load. Oops, and his little friend there. All over each other, disgusting. Guys, save it for the bedroom. Uh, do I risk walking? Yeah, we're on a path. Ah, nearly caught that up. Managed to pull it off without taking any damage. A few more coins, and a range up, which I believe is utterly useless. But oh well, could have rerolled it if we still had the D6, but again, abandoned a few fools ago. Looking um, rather fetching in our shoes here. Vaginal leech disappeared in half a second right there. And his friend there. Identical rooms next to each other. Lazy room layout. Right, some Mr. Moores. That is utterly bizarre. Whoa. There do seem to be some bugs I get quite often with these guys. Like there, I took I took damage from, from what? It was like I walked into something, but there's nothing in front of me. And, oh, there's an invisible moor up there. Wonderful. That's fair, invisible enemies. Oh. Oh, you are kidding me. Right, the boss room must be in the... Uh, far on the right. But for some reason, going in the secret room didn't reveal it to me. Thanks. Thanks, buddies. I see the game going wrong in my favour, as usual. <laughs> Wait for this uh, goo to subside so I can walk on it. And we will head immediately over to the right. I suppose I'm glad to have gone to the item room. No, I'm not really glad to have gone to the item room, actually. I've got a completely useless item. So yes, wasting more time as we head up to half an hour. I need to stop watching the clock. It's not very interesting. <laughs> but we will head on to the depths too and face Mop. Who we should be able to take down, no problem. With her own knife, and no less. Bit of a slap in the face for her. Which is great, because, as I've said on previous runs, she's a bit of a bitch. She's not a nice person. Anyway, yeah, I'm um, just backtracking a load. I'm really excited about the expansion. I just can't, I just can't wait to play it, record it, do everything. I'm definitely going to be uh, playing my first runs of it on camera. I know I did say at the very start of my Let's Play of this game that um, I wanted to provide a more experienced uh, set of run-throughs so that it wasn't frustrating. So uh, you may have to prepare to be frustrated a little with my uh, Wrath of the Lamb. All right, pop. This straight away, stab the living shit out of this guy. Oh, come back, Loki. Die. Right, one more hit, and he is toast. 
Another range up, utterly useless. Oh, there is a tinted rock there. I'd love to. And I can't get to the deal with the devil room. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a jip. The game is uh, taking a piss a little. I don't appreciate it, guys. Come on. Do me a favour. Head down here. Again, knights being a little haphazard with their hitboxes. But hey, they go down eventually, like everything else in this game. Oh, shit. That was close. Oh, come on. Please, just die. I don't like you. Head down here. Hope you see the item room. The item shop. Seems to be rocking 30 points. That is two good power-ups right there. Whoa, that was close. I just hit both. Can't get that because, unfortunately, the ladder did not appear to us earlier. Well, it did appear, but we couldn't afford it. Some leapers. Get rid of those first because they are a pain in the ass. And then work on these knights once again. With my um, piercing shots that don't seem to pierce these guys' thick hides. Come on, guys. Just die. The bomb there. Again, can't get to it. I will go in and... Spend a few coins. Bomb here, please. Ugh. Do me a favour, come on. Where's my luck gone? Alright, heart. I'd love a bunch of hearts. Thank you. I'll go down to 25. Please give me this bomb. Fantastic. Which means I will break into that tin drop in the other room. Alright, another bomb. I'd love that. Come on, guys. Fly instead. That is not what the doctor ordered. We'll spend another few hearts on this. I'll go down to three hearts. I'm playing dangerously today. I'm not quite sure why. Alright, we're back up to 30. 30 anyway, which is great because it means, again, uh, two items in from the item shop. Provided that our friend Breed is not in there. Whoa, showered with bombs. Um, I think I will go blow up some of these machines actually. Just try and get some hearts back. Another bomb, brilliant. Love like this. Come on. Oh, half a heart. And we're down to two bombs, which should serve our purposes. Ah, we get it back, wonderful. And a bit more coin. And half a heart, which ain't great, but better than nothing. Better than nothing. Um, we'll head into the secret room, see what goodies that prop has for us today. Come on. That's not a goodie, that's a baddie. Ooh, need to that place for a steam sale, which means we now have enough for four good items, but I'm seriously doubting that uh, <laughs> there's going to be that many good items in the shop. But considering we just saw greed there, that just means that the shop will be greed free, which is always wonderful. I hate seeing that little bastard anywhere on any floor. I right, lost that half a heart we've got already. We could regain it but blow by blowing that rock up, but mm, not so enthusiastic to do that. Take those both at once. The more over here has detached from his body. Impressive little skill there. Uh, the pretty flies have been doing a little work for us lately, blocking a few incoming shots, which is always great. There's the item room, but it's the shop we want. Try and take out this champion sharpish. Wonderful, dodge this shot. And shove the sharp end of my pointy stick down his throat. Monstrous tooth, no interest in that. Um, I will spend a key. Definitely worth it, three coins in a bomb. As I say, more interested in bombs now. Two Champion Larry Juniors. Could be seeing some spirit hearts here, but we'll see. Regular heart. Nah, no, not going to complain. Did need it. And there is the shop. Wonderful. Just after I take out these guts. And stupidly take damage, of course. Book of Shadows. Nope. Damn it. Oh my god, what am I doing? Seriously, come on. Play better. <laughs> Please. A right, little bit of extra health, which is okay, I guess. Another key. Another bomb. And we're still sitting on 30 coins. And that was the last shot we'll see, unfortunately. So we'll only be able to spend if we come across beggars. Not too great, but... Oh well. Things could still pick up. I don't see how, but... Gotta keep positive, guys. Gotta keep positive. No interest in that arcade machine. Um, hopefully the boss will be up the top here, so we don't have to go too far. Bomb flies, which will... Damn it, it didn't explode, but hopefully that will hit the... There we go. Very nearly stepped on the goo there. It's taking its time to dissipate, but it does eventually go, and we will clean up these brains. 
not mom's brains, the two smaller ones that come from mom's brain. Bizarre character design, but I like it. Ah, I stood there and took that on the phone, the chin, even. Don't hit me, thank you. <laughs> I'm just standing there like when things come at me, like a deer in headlights, it's bizarre. I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know why I waited for that troll bomb to explode. I guess some uh, innate sense of politeness. More coins we probably won't use. Some more brains, another repeat of the same room. Ah, silly. I, don't, I really don't like these stone heads. One thing I really hate them is they um, they tend to fire after everything in the room has been destroyed, which just ain't fair play. You're bending the rules, guys. Another invisible moor head. We seem to be getting a lot of those lately. You can sort of spot them by the blood trails on the floor, fortunately, so they're not completely invisible. Ooh, really took a bit of damage there, but we're okay. Take care of that Mr. Moor body, grab a bomb, and head straight to the boss. Another few coins I won't use. Up to 35 now. And here's my. I'm not really sure when I should trigger um, the unicorn horn. I think I'll wait until there's some point when the entire room is about to fuck me over. Or I may trigger it just before Mom's foot comes down. Oh, I thought that would kill her. Right, don't this one. Nice and easy fight. A pentagram. Damage up. I think that may apply to the knife. Not 100% sure though. Should have grabbed that half a heart, but oh well, it's only half a heart. All right, let's try and speed through this. No item shops or rooms to worry about, so it should be a lot quicker. Try not to get flanked by these bros. Seems to be all right. Take them out, no problem. Another bomb. Uh, we'll bomb into the secret room. That might miss. Oh, there, we're all right. I think Stephen was being a bit cheeky there. Hit it off uh, course, but it didn't matter in the end. Hopefully the boss will be over the right. I don't want to explore the entire floor all over again. Take care of these fetuses. No problem. Need to hit these nubs before they start spraying all over me though. Again, as it seems to be a theme with these runs, terrible, terrible choice of words. Sexualizing everything. I'm sorry kids. If you're um, below 18, please tune out now. You don't want to be exposed to the profanity. Please, balls of steel. Full health. Definitely good. Don't know why I went up here. Force of habit. From the days I used to explore every single damn room on every damn floor. Which is probably one of the reasons I lost so often when I was first starting with this game. Right, a champion guts. Probably take two hits. No, just one. I think that's another pretty fly. So we have a um, full trio of pretty flies protecting us. Right, Chubb should go down no problem, as I can hit all his segments at once if I stand by his side. There we go, and his little charger friends too. I don't know if that was one charger that was bugged out or two <laughs> that spawn on top of each other. Got some pokies here. Stab them in their gaping little mouth. Come on, fellas. Do me a favour. Just off yourself. Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, God. It's all going wrong. Okay, the boss decided he didn't want to be over here. I'm trying to extend this run even more. Which I do not appreciate it, fella. I'd quite like to make some um, brief videos. <laughs> and Glow Stop had his um, that half an hour Feats in the Jar run, which was just batshit insane. Whoa. Getting boxed into a corner here. Oh dear, here comes the damage. It's alright, we've only lost two red hearts. And hopefully we'll be able to restore those before uh, Mom's heart. AKA it lives. Dodge past the troll bomb. Oh dear. Don't lock onto me. God damn it. That was close. Wait for him to lock on. Yeah. Thought I was aiming up there. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse than it did, considering I didn't take any damage. Right, so the champion Larry Juniors, the ones that spit. No problem whatsoever. Larry Jr. versus Mom's knife. There is no competition. You just get skewered. Like a giant worm kebab. Wait for the host to fire. Come on, pop up. Pop up before the brains come. Damn it, Steven, stop hitting him. There we go, no problem. Significant slowdown here. Or at least I'm feeling like it is. Don't know about your end, guys. Hopefully not. There's the boss, fantastic. I will spend the key to get to whatever this is. Uh, bomb a few coins, fair enough. Who we got? 
the Skelex. No problem for the knife, half his health gone already. Two hits, nothing. Okay, a bit more health, fantastic, and we're back to full health on our way down to the wing shoot. Start right next to the secret ring, pop in there straight away. And the one up, fantastic. That could be very handy. Hopefully won't have to use it. I'm going to go to the left because direction of the secret room seems to not be doing me any favours in terms of actually finding the boss. Oh, didn't hit there. Oh, fantastic. Hits a secret um, blue rock. Ow. Ow, guy. And gives us an extra spirit heart. Bob's right on head. Don't want that. There's a the challenge room. Three laser eyes. Uh, going to have to be very tenacious to avoid these, which apparently we are. Please be the boss room up here. I will blow up this to get there. Was the possibility of uh, hidden rocks. Back up to full life, fantastic. And we've got that um, one up mushroom. So, ah, another spirit heart. Seems the game is preparing us for uh, Mom's heart and Shale after that. Some cysts. Should go down, no problem to Mom's heart. Mom's heart, Mom's knife. And if Mom's heart was a weapon, that'd be awful. Just slinging it in the enemy's face. Ah, uh, it decides to be the arcade, which I may go spend money on, actually. And possibly edit out if it takes too long. Because I don't want to add too much. And it's, there's no thrill in watching someone play uh, arcade machines over and over again. All I really want is a health up, to be honest. Anything else I need? No, I've got everything I want. Ooh. Well, there's half a heart to start us off. I do believe on the wound onwards, uh, the machine costs us, I think it's two hearts. Another pretty fly, unfortunately can't have more than three. Another pretty fly, again, unfortunately can't have more than three. Uh, what is this? Full health, fantastic kill to hold on to. In fact, I will spend a ton of hearts on this and then just use full health. Come on, give us a little bag. A little bit more luck would be nice. More utterly useless coins. Two more plays. Come on. Oh, huh, that's odd. Damn. Full health. Uh, spend another heart and grab this. Never mind, I blow up everything else in here. No need to blow up the others, can't see them dropping anything useful. And we'll head over to the right and see where the boss could be. I'm thinking... Uh, bottom right, maybe. We'll go there first, see what's in the challenge room. Compass. Definitely want to pick that up. We'll make Shale a lot faster. Unfortunately, uh, the Womb 2 challenge rooms can be a little terrifying uh, as you're fighting bosses from the rest of the game. But hopefully we'll do alright. I should really pop the Unicorn Horn here, but I'll save it just in case there's a more fearsome boss waiting for me. So I do have two more to defeat. Okay, yeah. No problem whatsoever. Might have a little more charge to use on a shove. Brilliant. Definitely a very worthwhile use of the Unicorn Horn. And it only takes um, three rooms to charge, I do believe. And we'll definitely be going through three before we hit the boss. Oh, of course, the um, acquisition of the compass means we now have the boss on our map. Try not to get hit. Uh, very narrowly avoid it there. And there. Always dangerous with those um, eye lasers. They remind me of the lasers from Super Meat Boy, actually. Well, they're probably less risky than those. There's one hit from those in Super Meat Boy. And you are, well, meat. But in a less corporeal form than you were for the rest of the game. Two Duke of Flies, regular versions. Mom's knife absolutely mowing through these, if I can get them to hit. A ton of the flies for us to clear up, which I will shank at close range. Shank a very um, Birmingham based word, which is uh, the county over from where I live and where I spent most of my growing up. <coughs> Famous for uh, teen pregnancy and knife grind, <laughs> which is a wonderful combination. Fortunately, I engaged in neither. A few uh, late night 
Okay, that sounds like a dodgy start to a sentence. <laughs> I don't know if I want to complete that. Uh, pill here. That gas. Wonderful. Always useful. That was sarcasm, by the way, if you uh, can't pick up on that. You are some kind of psychopath. Devoid of emotions or ability to empathise. Uh, more useless coins, up to 60 now. And long start. Get rid of these two eye lasers. Sharpish. No problem. Just drop a bomb here. I think I'll save uh, the unicorn horn until mom starts dropping bombs all over the place. Took a stupid bit of damage there, but oh well. Once I go down, it goes down no problem. Still rocking tons of life. These could be uh, solid. This is a good time to use the unicorn horn. Saves me faffing around to try to mop those guys up in the back. A little bit of sound problems there. I think my favourite sound problem in this game was the very first time I beat. It wasn't actually Satan I beat, it was the Four Horsemen because I had the uh, Book of Revelations. And I went into that and the music was just utterly fucked. <laughs> Anyone who played at the start of the Halloween update will know that. Right, drop down into Shale. And head immediately to the boss. Tends to go to the secret room, but I seriously doubt it's going to have anything for us. Completely empty room there. Bit sad. Three Isaac Knights. Who are a little bit tricky. I wouldn't mind having the Unicorn Horn again for this. Come on, there we go. A tarot card. Tarot card, even. Not incorrectly pronounced there. Not tarot. I'll take this guy out. Come on. Don't cost us any more health. We do have a one up, but I'd rather not use it. Explosive diarrhea, I suppose that could come in handy later. Justice, spirit heart, brilliant. The extra things, grab the explosive diarrhea. Ah, it's blue. That does mean that white pill earlier wasn't explosive diarrhea, so I wasted an opportunity there, considering I have a ton of money that I haven't used. Please die, thank you, and your friend. This horrible face. Seriously, fella, cheer up. Things could be worse. I don't know how, but they probably could be. Those. Yeah, yeah. Do your little growl. I kill your offspring. Come on. There we go. And hopefully he won't do his uh, firing laser beams out of his arse in four directions. Killed him before he managed to do that. One more room. Rooms haven't been too bad, considering what Shale can throw at you. No uh, headless horseman heads. Got a fair few bombs, which I may use on the boss. Wait a second, Let's drop that now. Bollocks. Never mind, got him anyway. Turns into Krampus for a moment. I, I kind of like the bugs in Isaac. I think they give you character more than anything. That guy was about to shit lasers everywhere, but we got him beforehand. Dodge out the way of those. <laughs> I've completely arced around him rather than through. Got the bomb to Satan there. I'm sure he'll love it. Happy birthday. I wonder when Satan's birthday is. Whoa lasers everywhere, but the knife seems to be making short work of him. Tempting some more laser beams out of him and he goes down there. Right. Watch for the foot. Drop a bomb now. Yes, that is lovely. Another... Oh, shit. That was potentially painful. Well, it was painful. We do have plenty of life. A one-up. Okay, something goes momentously wrong. Ah, never mind. Don't even need to finish my sentence because we complete the game. Fantastic! So that was another episode of my Let's Play of The Binding of Isaac. Like, favourite, and subscribe if you wish to, and I will see you guys soon!